We're here to keep air racing alive because it is the fastest motorsport in the world. We got some pretty amazing access and we're on board for the Reno Air Races in a Sea Fury and a Mustang. Race control, the unlimited are ready when you are. Those chumps at NASCAR, you know, they don't know what they're missing. Because we're just gonna go as fast as we can. That's the strategy. That's the strategy, you bet. Joel, you're still plus 10 and coming into traffic. Thank you. My first time at the Reno Air Races did not disappoint. I'm here with friend and test pilot Elliot Seguin. He's the one that introduced me to this whole crowd, including JP, who shared his entire process. Okay, this is the final race day. This is Sunday, and JP was nice enough to uh, rig cameras again, so he's gonna fly his final race with our cameras, and uh, if you missed the debrief episode when he qualified, it was very cool. So my channel is all about debriefing. I started just debriefing in a Cessna, so it's pretty cool to debrief with a Mustang pilot. This is uh, watching the airplane on course can see tremendous opportunity to tighten up the line a little bit. And that's on me, that's not the airplane. So it's uh, it's been a lot of help. I thought I was a lot tighter. So on the final race day, it was cool to see a video debrief applied so directly. But being able to overlay what we learned on the, on the video with what we were seeing real time really, really helped out. Getting a better line as the week progressed and the speed showed, it, it, the speed picked up all week. Oh man. What they find, Elliot? Uh, there's a, a mud dauber nest up in the Rudder Cove. Good catch on a walk around. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. What makes me nervous is uh, it was stuck and it had been stuck for a while and now we knocked it loose. So it's uh, more dangerous right now. Oh, we got it. Yeah. So that's one piece of it and they're working on getting the rest. This is like concrete. Uh, you can see the egg. More cylinder. Go ahead. I don't see any particular. I think they got all of it. That's uh, pretty cool. This is why walk arounds are important. You gotta actually look at what you're doing. Don't just do it by rope. So we got it. Okay. Well done, man. A great catch just moments before JP strapped in for this silver final race. And that wasn't the only last minute fix. Just noticed we got some damage to one of our audio recording cables, but luckily we got spares in the bag. That's a quick shout out for Patrick at in-flight cam. He really set us up for uh, rigging all kinds of airplanes here, so I couldn't have done it without him. The big thing I'm most worried about are these gears for the canopy, because that'll just snub the race. You never even take off. We gotta make sure that we're keeping this cable away from that. No front. I really appreciate JP letting us strap our cameras to his airplane. As a new Warbird pilot, I was completely geeking out at the opportunity to be able to follow along with everything he was doing. Being immersed in the racing community for a few days here, I learned how tight they are. You'll always see them in pre and post flight briefing huddles. Sherm is one of the senior pilots here. He's racing one of four Sea Furies with the Sanders team this year. Well, we have uh, at least three sets of eyes on every race. And that's called our uh qualifications committee and uh, we debrief every race of the winner's aircraft we talk about how it looked everybody screw up anything happen you know anything a close calls or anything we talk about it we iron it out right then and there after the race this was probably one of the most amazing things that i saw this airplane was in that crate like three days ago and yep. you guys put it together yep yeah shipped it here from new zealand someone called it a yak in the box we pulled her out on thursday and i uh, test flew a Sunday night and uh, was flying just as good as it was when we put her in the box uh, in July. Amazing. So these guys are doing some field work on a T6 prop just right here in the ramp. Boom. Reno. So I just walked by and saw you guys like working on a prop here on a T6. So what's going on? Well, we're putting our race prop on. It's, okay. uh, it's, it's tricked up where it's faster than a stock prop. We're at uh, Reno from uh, the UK, watching uh, Flight Shorts videos. Absolute epic. Now, we're going to come back again next year. We came here just because, because of the videos. videos. All those videos on YouTube. Absolutely Great quality awesome. content. Okay, let's get back on board in the P-51 with JP for the Silver Race. Visibility 
more than one zero. Yeah, I don't know if you have that radio file solo. I've got you. Got you five by five. From race six twos checking in. Race six two follow the flight, taxi to runway the album. Unlimited is ready when you are. Unlimited race clear for takeoff from way 08 when 080 at 11. Roger, runways are clear to go. All right, no music for the takeoff, but I want you to watch the rudder work and how carefully and precisely he advances the throttle. Yeah, basically, turn to turn, to the north. 160 knots. After a formation takeoff, the racers tighten up off the course behind a pace plane. All right, racers, smoke coming back on the pace plane. We'll start our turn to base leg. Now, race control, we're taking our turn right onto the chute. Look at all the racers. We've got the pylon, sky pylon on this way. Unlimited flight, you're cleared out of the course. Glad you're cleared out of the course. Hey, right, racers, the guy pylon on this side will be at our level 45. So we'll be rolling wings level here in a second. We'll be down the chute. Outstanding formation, guys. You're looking great. Now, oh, gentlemen, you're looking good. Gentlemen, you got a race. Need a couple inches to stay ahead of your interval. It's closing on you. Roger. I'm at 61 and 3 thousandths. I'm at 61 and 3,000, that's all I got. Okay. What's <laughs> he doing down there? That was ugly. All right, what's the interval between me and the guy behind me now? You got a pretty good gap on him. I'll give you a better read on that when you come around here. Okay. Okay, I'm pulling back. I'm at 50 and I'm going to 2,900. How was your temps? 90 on induction, 100 on water, 70 on oil. Induction. 90, 9 or 0. Got to back off. Yeah, I am. I'm at 50 and 29. White flag, white flag. Down to 82 on induction. Take care of the ladies, we'll take care of you. Yeah, we're way out of the power. I'm down to 46 and 28. Checker flag, checker flag. Flag, checker flag. Happy. Okay, push it up, push it up. Good. Nice going, nice race. That pass was ugly and I shouldn't have said anything, but I didn't like that at all. What didn't you like about it? Uh, he was right underneath me and didn't call it. I started rolling in and he was right there. Need to talk to him. Keep brief, bring it up. Cool down, relax, great race. See you on the ground. Line up and wait, runway 08. Winds 2204, casting to 12. All right, so how'd that one go? That was pretty good. That was the uh, the silver final. Started with seven airplanes, we started fourth, and I think that's where we finished, which was kind of the goal. Yeah. Carry just enough power to stay where we were. Airplane did great. Big, big thanks to Dad, the aircraft owner. Nice job, kiddo. Without him, none of this would have been possible. And a big thank you to our crew chief, Neil. The airplane did all the work, and these two did all the work, and uh, it 
allowed uh, allowed me just to have fun hanging on to the stick. So all in all, it was a great week and uh, look forward to seeing everybody out here next year. Tradition clearly runs deep here and I was honored to be a part of some of the special moments like riding in the parade before the gold race. We are about to embark on what we call the Duck Walk 2018. This is where they line up all the airplanes, parade them in front of the crowd, and down we go. Oh, it's exciting, it's a privilege. We've got a great team behind me that have prepped a, an amazing aircraft considering we're running stock. Here we are, second time in a, in a row in the gold final. All right, good luck, have a good flight. Thank you. Today may be another turbulent flight for this decorated Navy veterans. Give it up for Sherm Smoot and the entire crew of Race 114, Argonaut! Oh, I think I've been doing it about 27 years. You know, it's fun. I love the adrenaline rush. It's good for you. Lord number four, I'm just going to whip it. The Sea Fury, it makes a real badass wake turbulence behind it. So if you get behind there, you better be ready. It's a good stable airplane on the race course. It's sort of unique. It likes a, a, a wheel, a wheel landing on the back side of the wheels. It, it just lands better that way. We're going to go up and play and have fun. And turn left. Well, that should be it. Thank you. Dennis is flying a newly built Sea Fury for this one, so he's not expecting to win, but he's just there kind of as the head of the team and happily flying for fun. It's Joel in Dreadnought who's the favorite this year. These quick shots are from Eagle's Nest before we departed for Reno earlier in the week. Just gonna get a quick shot of the cockpit of Dreadnought before uh, I gotta get kicked out of here. So there's something you don't see every day on a single engine airplane, four sets of mags. <laughs> but Dreadnought actually has two Sea Fury engines stacked on top of each other, so it's not exactly a single engine. And here's the newly rebuilt airplane Dennis is flying crazy to watch the wings come down on these things. So awesome. Anyway, let's get back on site for the unlimited gold race. All right, so here we're at the 2018 races with Tiger. Yes. When was the last time you saw a Dreadnought out front? I was a baby. <laughs> Did you see 86? Did you see the win in 86? Of course. That's probably the last time. <laughs> and then we got the wild card, Miss America. What's he gonna do? Right? You, you know, know that if he just stood up. If it was me, I'd have been sandbagging like they've been doing, I believe, all week. He has more horsepower and he can go faster, whether or not he can hold on to it. I've never seen him put the power up that high since we got here. But I told Joel, whatever you do, don't pull back. Even if he's out in front of you, you want to stay close enough or as close as you can in case he has a pylon cut and you got to keep the pressure on because once you pull back then he pulls back and then everybody's just going to finish right where they were so you got to keep the pressure on until the race is over i was beginning to learn that as much racing strategy happens in the pits as it does in the air you never told a lie in a pit before right i never told the truth <laughs> <laughs> no and then it was really great because after a few years of that, you could tell the truth and they knew you were lying. <laughs> Dennis let me in on his relatively simple plan to victory. We're just going to go as fast as we can. That's the strategy? That's the strategy, you bet. <laughs> so we got a lot of cameras flying on this one. I'll be cutting between Sherm and Dennis. And you'll hear Joel on the radio, but there's no cameras on board with Dreadnought. That's race eight. Nine to four, nine company. Uh, race control, uh, checking in with the pace plane. Racers, check in. Race eight. Race 7-1. Race 1-1. Race 1-1-4. Race 9-2-4. Race 3. All right, Joel, you got it. Okay, race control, race 8, and unlimited flight ready taxi. Unlimited pace, taxi runway 26. Hold short of runway 32. 26, hold short 32, race 8 flight. Sherman's wearing a blue flight suit and flying an airplane that's painted. And I've got this cool pedal cam on board with Dennis. He's got a yellow helmet and the unpainted wing. Control, our racers are ready 
you go. Unlimited Gold Flight Reef Control, cleared for takeoff on way 26. Measure base is on the roof. Unlimited gold flight race control, cleared onto the course. Cleared onto the course. Here we go, guys, left turn. And race 8 ADI is on, pressure's up. All right, racers, we've got the race course in sight. The goal of the guide pylon is in good shape, and we're going to take our turn. ADI is on, pressure's up, what about course? Yeah, racers, be rolling wings level, and a guide pylon is at our 11.45. So here comes the wings. Down we go. Alright, gentlemen, get ready to go, Jeff. You got a ring. Suction temp stable 80. Control, your belly's clear. Joel, you're five seconds in front of this day. He's still behind the uh, softball. Joel, his crew is uh, timing everybody. And they will radio him how far in front or behind the next airplane is. Joel, you're plus eight on uh, Sawbones Comma Miss America. They're running as a pair. Mark, you're clean at plus four on uh, the Mustang. Okay, thanks. Power back a bit. Right away, Miss America poured the coals onto it and uh, was jumping everybody in line. He, so he did exactly what uh, Dennis predicted, right? Or both Tiger and Dennis predicted. He poured, uh, came up with a bunch of new horsepower we haven't seen all week. Meanwhile, Joel holds this fantastic tight line right on the pin. Looks fantastic. ADI 75 degrees, 1.4. How am I on timing, Ken? 9.24 is in the green. Uh, Ken, what's uh, Joel's interval? Joel, you're holding a plus 10 on the Mustang. Dennis, Miss A is coming around you now. Oh, I know you, Dennis. Thank you. Joel, you're still plus 10 and coming into traffic. Thank you. And Mike Brown, race 8 is coming up over top of you. Okay. And Mark White, race 8 is coming by. Roger that, go for it, I'll stay low. Mr. Bond, you got MB2, Joel? White flag, white flag. So white flag, one lap to go. Okay, Sherm, I'm coming up on you. If you keep it low, I'll go over the top. Roger. Checkered flag, checkered flag. Recovering runway 26, wind 230. Nine two four, pull up here. Right, so once they call the race clean, and then we know where that's the official win. I'm at 4 ADI off. Race 8 ADI is off, back to 30 inches. Oil doors to auto. Joel, race 2 is at 7,000 East area, he's turned that way. Okay, race 8's gonna make another lap in the cool down. I got you in sight, Mike, up high. Yeah, race 8's uh, midfield downwind. Race 8 number 2 follows T Fury 1 mile final. Inside race 8 number 2. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. There's a whole bunch of related content that I published in real time during the air races. So check out that vlog series if you missed it. Ladies and gentlemen, 2018 World Unlimited Air Race Champion, Mr. Joel Swagger! Huge thanks to sponsors and Patreon supporters for helping create this content, and thanks to the Sanders for giving me so much access. It really was awesome to be there. Joel hates being on camera and he wouldn't let me shoot him much this week, so I gotta admit, I'm kind of enjoying this moment. <laughs> work it, work it, girl.
Please visit flightchops.com for the related episodes. And until next time, keep your flight chops sharp. It's over. <laughs> it's beer o'clock. It is. Beer 30. Is that what you call it? Beer 30.